Hey guys, Sam here, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Top 100 here in Pokemon Duel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. How's everyone doing? Make sure to let me know in a comment below. As well as a like, since my channel is dying. That would be pretty nice. Anyway, here I have another exciting matchup for you guys, and this uh, is, I guess, a display of maybe not how to play against the Mega Mewtwo, but, you know, kind of uh, what you can do to uh, prevent the rampage that it can actually cause. Uh, no, it, you know, it doesn't really come into play until maybe mid-game, uh, plus this match is not really going to be that, um, you know, long. Anyway, I opened with my Tapu Koko against the Mew, one of the best matchups that you can have. The Tapu Koko go, uh, goes for that. I, however, go on the, you know, uh, for my goal with my Sceptile, because as you guys know from the first the kind of guide video, if you have a 99 uh, Leaf Blade Sceptile, a Tapu Koko can't really knock you out, uh, unless it actually uses, say, for example, um, you know, an next attack or something. Here, I'm feeling pretty sad that my Zapdos got uh, actually knocked out. Um, I go for, I believe, the double chance, and it's going to be uh, with a Tapu Koko. I'm like, okay, so maybe I can risk this. Um, it's, it's going to be pretty nice, and fuck, okay. Double chance, can I actually get something cool? And, um, yeah, okay, so I get a ton... Um, not a thunder charge, <laughs> the wild charge. And uh, uh, goal is being threatened right now. Can we get um, uh, lucky with this bullshit? But, you know, he decides to go for the safe play right here and, you know, go for the gold block. So that's already pretty good for me. That is already one thing off the, well, maybe not the field, but off the, you know, off the, the cards or whatever for my opponent. I really don't know what I want to say. Um, right now, I want to get rid of the Mewtwo as soon as possible because I really don't want that thing to enter the field. Uh, however, it looks like it's going to happen since he gets the... Um, <laughs> the, uh, what do you call that? The Psychic Shove. And let's see what I can do against this Mega Mewtwo. Um, so he goes for the attack on my Tapu Koko, pretty smart. And what do we get? What do we get? <laughs> if I if I could have gotten an attack there, that would have been incredible. Uh, so right now, I kind of, you know, I am kind of aiming to go for the Zapdos. I get, uh, you know, I go for the double chance. Uh, and, uh, you know, since I have my white maxed out, I'm not really scared about this matchup. So I'm like, okay, what do we get? Uh, he gets the Thunder Charge. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. Now my Lunalage is going to be completely useless. And I didn't land on my Moon Guys to Beam. So he's going to take this chance, uh, hopefully, I guess, to go for the Thunder uh, Charge, whatever. Uh, he goes for that. I go for, or I guess, you know, I kind of threaten the Surround. Uh, I get super unlucky here with a miss, but that's, um, you know, that's not, you know, that bad. Um, you know, since my Lunel is pretty useless right now, I kind of want to uh, wanted to make the most of it. So, yeah, I go for the entry point. Uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, hoping to... Uh, get my Lunala knocked out because it's pretty uh, useless at this point. I'm like, you know, it, it's whatever. Um, you know, I knew that the plus 20 was going to come in handy, but I just want to uh, get some of these turns off the Mega Mewtwo just so I can do something. Uh, super unlucky here once again. I rolled my Shadow Sneak into the white, uh, which could have potentially been, you know, pretty good. You know, either burn or confuse the Mega Mewtwo would have been incredible. Um, he goes for X speed for another attack since I have my Mega, my, uh, not the Mega, since I have my Blaziken and this is looking pretty bad for me. Uh, however, I land the Jet Kick into the Hypersonic, not pretty good. Even if I landed my White, it would, you know, it was still not going to be that great since, you know, I can't actually knock it out. Um, I really don't want to attack into this thing, just one more turn. If I can survive it, um, it's, um, uh, no, never mind. You know, if I can survive it, it's still going to get plus one. <laughs> you know, for the turns. So I'm like, okay, uh, may I surround you, please? So if I get a neutral attack, I can surround it. There we go. He's not going to get knocked out. However, he's going to get surrounded by my Tapu Koko. Feeling uh, pretty good about this. Now, uh, once you get the Mega Mewtwo off the field, your, I guess, your main concern, and this is only if your opponent has multiple, uh, what do you call it? Uh, multiple uh, Mewtwo Knight cards or uh, plates on the field is to go for the entry points as soon as possible because you don't want that thing to enter once again and, you know, kind of be a threat to your figures once again. Um, this is the case uh, just for my opponent since he has two Mutonites. So uh, two more knockouts and it's going to be uh, Mega Mewtwo time once again. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident about... Um, ag uh, against about <laughs> about this matchup and I roll my moon guys beam into the psycho boost pretty good I however get the 70 which is in my opinion you know maybe not better since there's uh, nothing behind it or you know I guess it was and I, I you know I prefer to knock out the, uh, the Zapdos but uh, no the <laughs> sorry the Deoxys 
So he goes for neither since I land my you know my sidekick and I'm like okay so this is pretty good. So what do I do? I hop uh, you know I hop over the Zapdos since he doesn't have a gold block anymore. He can't really surround my Lunala. I go for the attack since my Lunala is better than his uh, because of the 70 and I land the uh, Moon Guy's beam into that shit. He tries to go for the Tapu Koko. Is he going to land the yellow into my purple? No, he's not, and that's going to be a great game. Um, kind of a shorter video than last time, but hopefully you guys enjoy this one. The next four are going to be pretty exciting, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to let me know if you liked with a comment, a like, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.